Hey everybody, it's Daniel here with Mobile Syrup, and uh, we are looking at the Android M Developer Preview uh, just released today for the Nexus 5, 6, 9, and Player. Now this is the Nexus 6, and the demo you're about to see is of unfinished software. This is a developer preview, therefore not all the features are going to be available. Um, and uh, everything that was demoed on stage today at the Google I.O. keynote is not necessarily going to be working. One of the features in particular now on tap is not, well, it's not not working. It's just that there aren't any apps that currently support it. So I'll show you that in just a minute. But let's uh, take a look at um, sort of the fundamentals. Right now you can see that this is a very similar look and feel to Android L Lollipop. And that's because there really isn't that much fundamentally different underneath um, in terms of aesthetics with Android M. Now we don't know what it's going to be called yet, maybe Marshmallow, maybe Muscarpone, I don't know. But it'll uh, certainly be revealed later this year along with some features that we haven't seen yet. Now there's another feature here, uh, Android Pay, that isn't available to demo yet. Now that's not available, not going to be coming to Canada anytime soon anyway, but we'll get a demo of that in another video just to show you how that works. Now, uh, all that being said, let's take a look at what is here. You open the app drawer and you can see now the app drawer is vertical. Now that is a big change over uh, Lollipop. And you also have these um, recent apps that you've opened. Now there's four of them here in addition to a search bar. And if I want to say find uh, an app like Photos, I can just drill down and quickly open Photos. Now we'll get to Photos in a minute, but that is a big difference from, uh, from Lollipop. The other big difference uh, is something called um, it's, it's the uh, app permission. So you can see here, um, if I scroll down and I open up the quick settings menu, I can go into settings and I can go into apps. Now I'm going to open an app that we uh, regularly use, the camera. You can see here, in addition to the general app settings, you can uninstall an app or disable it if, if in the case of this uh, system app. You can also now edit the permissions. Now these are particular permissions that are um, going to be asked when you first open an app and start using that particular feature. So for example, uh, a camera will need access to the camera. Uh, for any third party app as well, you'll also be able to um, to use that feature and, draw and uh, lock down any of particular permissions on a case-by-case -case basis. So that was one area that uh, Google has really focused on. Now another feature that's going to please a lot of Lollipop users is the new uh, volume controls. Now you can see here, uh, this looks similar to Android 5.1. You can change your system notification volume, your music notification, your alarm. But what is different is the do not disturb mode. So for example, um, when you are in do not disturb mode, you can now select between total silence, alarms only, or priority. Now priority is also customizable and it's more granular than it was before. Obviously in, in priority mode you can change alarms, you can change, you can add uh, or disable reminders, events, messages, and you can select from anybody. These are all things that you could uh, change before but it's now laid out a little bit differently. But the difference here is that the do not disturb mode allows you to really draw down on um, on certain aspects of, of how you use your phone. So automatic rules, for example, allow you to set rules based on certain days. So for example, if I want to uh, do alarms only or total silence starting on uh, Friday, Saturday at 11.30 p.m., I can do that and uh, I can say turn that on on weeknights, I can turn it on for specific events. So these more granular controls allow you to do that uh, as well, but really the, the takeaway here is that you'll be able to uh, turn off, um, you can completely silence your phone or you can set it to alarm only. So that mute functionality has returned, thank goodness. Now another thing that we saw during the demo was uh, something called now on tap. Now that's the ability to hold your uh, home button down to get contextual information about an app that you're currently using. Obviously none of the apps that would support now on tap in the future have been updated but that being said you can still see how it'll look a card will show up um, 
on the bottom of the screen, giving you context, and then you can draw it down into the uh, Google Now page to see something in a bit more detail. Last but not least, I'd like to show you a little bit of uh, how selection or um, text selection is going to work in uh, Android M. So this little dialog box, actually, let me let me open up um, let me open up Twitter, and we can do it here. So I have a, a text box now. This is not. This is an app that has not been updated to support M. This is just a system-wide change. You can see here when you're copying, selecting text, a dialog will show up on top of the selection, allowing you to cut, cut, copy, share, or this little uh, overflow menu allows you to select all. So that's going to be uh, true of all apps. That's going to be system level, uh, system level change in Android M, and uh, that is very nice to see now. Going into the settings, you can see there's not a whole lot changed. It's still material design, but one area that we uh, have seen that's different is a new dark mode, and that just changes certain elements of the UI, uh, makes it a little bit more accessible. And uh, when we go down into the Android M, you can see the nice, um, the nice new logo, which is great. So that is uh, really nice to see. And so far, most apps that I've found uh, work pretty well with M because there aren't so many fundamental system level changes. Uh, they work pretty well, Twitter, Nuzzle, uh, Spotify. The only two apps that I have found that don't work at all are RDO and Evernote. Now Evernote just uh, errors out completely and RDO as well does the same. So uh, not everything is working just yet, but most apps that you uh, will want to use on uh, your Lollipop uh, device will work on uh, on the M preview if you want to install it to see how it works. So this has been a quick overview of Android M available for Nexus 5, Nexus 6, Nexus 9, and Nexus Player. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Uh, we will see you again soon.